Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The sum of a rational and irrational number is irrational. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using axioms 1, 2, 4, and 5. Axioms 1 and 2 are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom 4 tells us about the existence of the real number 0. And it tells us, for all real numbers x, x plus 0 is equal to x. Axiom 5 tells us that every real number has a negative. And we have, for all real numbers x, x plus the negative of x is equal to 0. Now, axiom 7 tells us that every non-zero real number has a reciprocal. And we use the concept of a reciprocal to define the operation of division. So I have more details of that in the description below. But what's going to be important is the result that we have proven involving the division operation, which is as follows. Suppose A and B are real numbers, where B is non-zero. Then the negative of A over B is equal to negative A over B. Now, in our real number system, we have defined the integers as a subset of the real numbers. And we have proven that the negative of any integer is also an integer. And from the integers, we defined the set of rational numbers as a subset of the real numbers. And we've defined it as follows. We define the set of rational numbers to be the set of real numbers p, such that there exists integers a and b where b is non-zero and p is equal to a over b. Now we have proven that the sum of two rational numbers is a rational number, And now, before we get into proving this theorem, we are first going to prove a preliminary result, which is the following. We're going to prove that the negative of any rational number is rational. And I'm going to call this result star. So let's first prove star. So to prove star, let's first give ourselves an arbitrary rational number p. The whole goal is to show that the negative of p is a rational number. Now, by definition of the rational numbers, since p is a rational number, this tells us that there exist integers a and b, where b is non-zero and p is equal to a over b. Well, since these guys are equal, that tells us that the negative of p is equal to the negative of a over b. But according to this result, which I will call triangle, according to triangle, the negative of a over b is equal to negative a over b. So to show that the negative p is a rational number, all that's left to show is that negative a and b are integers where b is non-zero. Well, since a is an integer, and we know that the negative of any integer is also an integer, that implies the negative of a is an integer. So now, we see that negative a and b are integers, and b is non-zero. So since negative p is equal to negative a over b, that tells us by definition of the rational numbers, we have that negative p is rational. And so we're done. We have shown if p is any rational number, then the negative p is also rational. So this proves star. So now let's get into proving the main theorem. Now, before we get into proving the main theorem, maybe I should state what it means for a number to be irrational. Our definition is, given any real number p, we say that p is irrational if p is not a rational number. Okay, so to start out the proof, let's first give ourselves an arbitrary rational number p, an arbitrary irrational number q. So 
From here, the whole goal is to show that P plus Q is irrational. And to show that, assume for a contradiction, we instead have that P plus Q is rational. Well then, notice, if we perform P plus Q plus the negative of P, well first of all, by axiom 1, P plus Q is equal to Q plus P. Then by axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around P plus the negative P. By axiom 5, P plus the negative P is equal to 0. And by axiom 4, Q plus 0 is equal to Q. So this shows that P plus Q plus the negative P is equal to Q which we know is an irrational number. But the claim is we can show that P plus Q plus the negative P is rational. You see why? Well, by star, since the negative of any rational number is rational, well, since P is rational, that implies negative P is rational. But then, we know that the sum of any two rational numbers is rational. So, since p plus q is assumed to be rational and negative p is rational, their sum, p plus q plus negative p, must be rational. But since p plus q plus negative p is equal to q, we can replace p plus q plus negative p with q. So this tells us q is rational. But this contradicts the fact that Q is irrational, because by definition of an irrational number, since Q is irrational, that tells us Q is not rational. So we have a contradiction, Q is rational and Q is not rational. Our assumption that P plus Q is rational led us to a contradiction. So we must instead have that P plus Q is not rational. But by definition of an irrational number, that's precisely what it means for P plus Q to be irrational. So we can conclude that P plus Q is irrational. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.